Hey guys, it's Paul. Um, I'm on my way to work and I don't know if it's because it's July 7th and I prayed for God to show me something on a holy day like today. And wow, I did not expect to have what I saw. <clears throat> okay, so it's a very strange dream. I was out in a field and it looked like my neighborhood for a few minutes and then it was weird. I just saw hundreds and hundreds of people walking toward what looked like a school. And when I got to the school, something caught my attention and I looked back and I began to see all of the trees. I don't even know how to describe this. Everything was disintegrating on the branches of the trees and it was all getting sucked away from me to my right. And I don't know how better to describe that. It was, um, I don't know. If you've ever had like a birthday sparkler and everything goes in every direction, imagine the sparkler all going in one direction, almost like the wind was pushing it, but it wasn't windy. That was what was weird. So I looked everywhere and all the trees everywhere lost their branches. And once, I mean, all of us were just stunned looking at this. And then all of a sudden I started to see in the far distance what looked like bouncing balls. And the closer it got to me, these bouncing balls looked like a, a tumbleweed. But they were perfect circles and they looked yellow from far. And they kept bouncing more and more towards me. And as they were getting closer, I realized they were massive balls of fire. And I, they were, I looked up and they were coming out of the sky, but they would continue to bounce. So we all got scared and, and actually, I didn't see myself at the beginning of this trip. So I don't know if I was just witnessing this, but everybody ran, ran toward the fire. And a couple of these fireballs hit the school this huge school that had multiple levels and it was kind of freaky. So I got in and, and we are, I was, I don't know why, my view of who I was running or, or if it was me, we were running upstairs to get a better view. So I managed to get to the third floor of this school and I found an opening and I went out on the roof to watch what was going on. It was unbelievable. The whole world was up in flames and uh, I, I got, that's where my best friend turned to me and said, uh, what's going on? And I, I'm not sure if I was, it was me, but I was definitely having a conversation with my friend JP and everybody was freaked out and it was weird. There was an old man following us from the main floor all the way to the third floor. And his name was Mr. Badger, Badger which in French would be translated bad news I guess and I asked them why are you following me and it was such an optical illusion like when I wasn't looking at him he was right behind me when I would turn around he seemed to be like 30 40 feet away and it was like an optical illusion he kept following me so I could only think or imagine that this person represented uh, evil following all of us I don't know how else to describe it and that was the end of that dream. It was followed by a second one very shortly after. This one makes no sense to me, but um, it was about my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, or my brother. And this one was, I don't know what it means. So I got a call from my brother telling me that um, they were gonna go away for six months. And I thought, oh, okay, you know, because they used to both work at Air Canada, him and his wife. So they have like, when they retired from there, not retired, but moved on to different jobs because of cutbacks, they were given 26 world trips between both of them, like 13 each or something. So they, they've got trips to go for the rest of their life. So in this dream, them saying they were going to Europe for six months, uh, was kind of what I assumed they were telling me. Oh, we're going away, and and uh, I thought, oh, good for you guys. You know, I'll come visit you guys before you go. So I go to get there, and 
my brother tells me, oh, my sister-in-law is over there. So I go to this other house, and this was so weird. It was an abandoned house. All of the walls were covered with just regular beach towels. And she was coming out of the washroom, and it smelled like dirty laundry in this house. And I said, what are you doing here? And she went on to tell me a friend of hers had given her this house and that they were going to take a holiday here. And this made no sense to me. I mean, they had the passes to go anywhere in the world and they were staying in a, what looked like an abandoned house with towels on the wall and representing dirty laundry. Like, it just didn't make sense to me. So I asked her, like, are you okay? And she, she told me, like, don't judge me. Uh, you don't have the right to judge me. I can take whatever holiday I want. And this is following in the past. I've had two other dreams of my sister-in-law dying. It, the first one was so terrifying. I actually called her to see in real life if she was sick. And she's like, what are you talking about? It wasn't until I had the second one that I realized she just doesn't believe at all in God. She goes through the motions, you know, being a Catholic and raised in it. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Just, I, God's just showing me a lot of people that are just, they're not real believers, even though they walk around with the title of Christian or Catholic or whatever. And uh, at the end of the dream, I looked at my brother. I'm like, what are you doing? Allowing her to live this fantasy. She thinks she's going on holidays, but she's, she's clearly sick, you know. And he's like, oh, I love her. I don't want to let her go. And that was the end of that dream. So kind of took it to God this morning. And I just think there's a lot of people that rather than face the truth of what's coming, they're just going to live out their fantasies of what they think, I don't know, is, is good or a holiday or I don't know. It was I actually kind of hoping some of you will give interpretation on this one because it was kind of strange. So. Anyway, that's what I dreamt, and it lasted the whole night. The stream was so long and slow, and it was all night long, and I woke up a couple of times. Like, I woke up at 12.21. I woke up at 3.20 or 3.30. It was, just kept going on all night. So anyway, I love you guys. Figured I'd share it. There's got to be some reason that God gave me that, so I'll talk to you and in the comments and see what you guys have to say. Thanks. Bye.